So, Miss M, she came to me, she was just turned 50, and she said she didn't feel sexy anymore, that her and her husband always had had lots of sex, and Facebook might censor me because I'm saying the word sex, just to warn you, and that she loved him, he was super hot, they worked together, and they also have a business together, and they just weren't having much sex. And I told her she booked some time with me. I'm going to share with you the exact strategy that I shared with her that night. And she start, came back to me and said, oh my God, you changed my life. This is amazing. So I'm going to give you that bit of wisdom of what I told Miss M in a minute. But just know that when you are going through that, that you're not feeling sexy and you're not feeling attractive and you are so tired and you don't want to have sex, that's the time that you really should have sex. I'm not saying force yourself, but it's those endorphins that start to go away when you're not connected that way. And then all those little everyday irritants that happen, they just are magnified. So when you stop having sex because you don't feel like it, that's your libido goes down because there's not as much endorphins and testosterone and chemicals released in your brain. And then you're, that makes you want to have sex even less. And so getting back to that can take a little bit of work. And so she was super frustrated. Miss M was super frustrated and she wanted to get her relationship back. She's super attractive. Her husband is definitely, oh no, I hope my battery doesn't die, is super sexy. And they wanted to have the same sex that they've been having all along. That like rom-com sex that every time is a great time. So before I'm gonna to get to all what exactly I told her in just a minute, but before I get there, make sure that if you would like to say goodbye to Boring Bedroom Time, that you book a Bye Bye be Boring Bedroom, call with me. It's up in the comments above and in the comments below. You can book a call with me and we I'll give you some strategies of how you can take your bedroom sexy time to the next level. So here's what I shared with Miss M. And this is exactly what I told her. And she took it completely to heart. And I wanted her to do it for a week. And she actually did it for 30 days. And her husband was overjoyed because we do know that men love women who love sex. So exactly what I taught her was even if she didn't feel like it, even if she was exhausted to be playful with her husband and to start with that, just be playful and then to have sex every day, whether you feel like it or not and not forcing yourself, but really, if you really want to improve your relationship, getting back to that time when you were just started dating, when you would see each other and you wanted to be with each other, try to think back to that time. And when you want it, you know, like you wanted to rip their clothes off all the time, at least that's how my relationships start. I don't know about yours. Uh, that it's that honeymoon time when everything is fine and there's no everyday irritations and the kids don't have to go to school or you don't have to homeschool them during COVID or you, you know, when all the things and all the cares in the world were just kind of not there. Because you know why they kind of cares weren't so much? Yes, you probably had still as much on your plate as you do today. You just different things on your plate than back in the day. You were still busy. You still had things to do, but you still 
made it happen because you had that connection. So when you get that connection back, sometimes you have to do things that you don't really want to do or you don't really feel like doing to get out of the rut that you're in. So start with seven days or start with a month and try having sex every single day and see what happens. This is exactly what I taught her. This is exactly what I told her in our strategy session. And it's the number one thing that you can do to feel connected and improve your marriage or your relationship. If you're a single girl like me, improve your relationship with yourself by self-pleasuring every day for 30 days, seven days, see what it does. I've done some challenges on here before of like seven days of self-pleasure and I guarantee you that everybody felt better and happier and more fulfilled after those seven days. So this isn't just for married people, it's for everybody. And if this interests you, if you wanna say goodbye to boring sex or boring bedroom time, make sure that you click on that link above or in the comments below and book a call with me and let's explore what's going on with you because we can always make it better. And I'm gonna be going live a lot in the next few months and really just sharing my knowledge with you for free and so that you can get more tips all the time so that you can have a better life. I really believe that sex is a big part of our relationships and that we don't talk about it enough. So I'm gonna be here on live on Facebook talking about it even more and sharing products and everything with you that you need to know. But just try it for a week, see how it feels, and don't forget you can book a call with me. And whether you're watching this in the replay or you're watching it live, thank you so much for everybody who's here. And make sure that you tag someone and share this with them because we all know somebody who has boring sex. And what I mean by boring sex is that like you just don't want to do it or it's the same position all the time right we've all been there and you want to change things up and you don't know how i'm going to teach you how to do that so in a strategy session i'm going to give you some good content of what to do and we'll see how it, that works but start with having sex every day at least play with your toys and yourself for the next seven days and see what kind of smile that brings to your face. Again, I'm Tiffany with Entice Me. Make sure you go to the link tiffanyyelverton.com forward slash PC and book that call with me. And I hope that you learned a little bit tonight about improving your relationship in 30 days or less. Take care. Bye-bye.